Virtual learning has been stressful, but at least Joe and I are co-parenting well, and it's gonna be fun to have him on the podcast. Hello? Hey. Hey, girl. hey everyone. I brought everything back. It's a little bit of a mess stuff. right now. Right. Yeah, don't say anything until we like introduce you. Good? Yeah. Hey, hey everyone, we're back on Baby, Baby Mamas. Baby Mamas, no drama. I was waiting for you to say it. Yeah, I'm waiting for you okay. to say it. Okay, I'm gonna let you introduce um, our guest. Yeah, our guest today. We have a guest. Of course, it had to be my hubby, Joe Rivera. Hey. It's, it's always exciting having you two in the same room. Oh, okay. see, that's one of the questions. That's one of the questions we've already gotten. No, it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm excited to see you guys taking a, a new journey together. Were you ever uncomfortable when, when V and I did become friends? For me, it was like, finally, like, this is what I've envisioned. Mm -hmm. This is what I want. But this that is what also I've been proves, pushing for. That also proves the boundaries that were in place. You never blurred the lines. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, we've never had a moment where we bl had blurred lines like I have in my other relationships. Mm -hmm. So right off the bat, it was like, you were comfortable with where me and Joe were. There's, at some point, one of you guys realized, or both of you realized, you guys are not so different, which I've tried to tell you in the oh, beginning. Oh, 100%. I think once that realization hit, it's, you know, um, you realize that you guys like each other more than you like me, so. <laughs> I think V and I both agreed that there was a point where you talked about Vivi and Isaac not being able to have a relationship if something were to happen to you. Yeah. And that was kind of eye-opening for both of us. I didn't realize that that us. was eye-opening for you, because I said that when, I remember you telling me something in that nature. I, I just, I've always been passionate about as far as just our kids being able to be in the same circle, being able mm -hmm. to love each other as siblings. And, you know, because it, it takes a village it really to, does. to raise these kids. Mm -hmm. it's gonna, it takes all of us. Yeah. But I wouldn't want Isaac to miss exactly. out on that. Exactly, so you know you definitely Especially like if we were the issue, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like we were the ones preventing it, it's kind of like, That would well, make it worse. I don't, I don't want that. It's a relief that Devon is willing to take Nova for a few days. I've been so busy and could use the help. How was school today? Did you finish all your homework? One more page? Okay. Me and your dad were talking today, and how do you feel about spending a few days at your dad's house? Like, spend a few days there. He'll, you'll go to sleep there, you'll wake up there, he'll pick you up, he'll feed you, he'll take you out for like a few days. Be honest. How do you feel? You gotta, you gotta tell me more than I don't know. Because he, him and his roommate always blast loud They blast loud music and you don't like it? Okay, so if they didn't blast loud music, would you go? I want you to be able to spend time with your dad and continue to get to know your dad. Because I know you're still a little uncomfortable sometimes, right? What makes you uncomfortable? It's because in our house there's only girls. Oh, so you feel a little uncomfortable with boys? His roommate makes you feel uncomfortable? Yeah, okay. Okay, well, if you don't feel comfortable staying, baby, you don't have to stay. I'm dropping the girls off with Corey. We're in a good place now, and I want to keep our communication open. So it's time to clear the air about my struggle with addiction. It's been our first week of e-learning, and let me just say I'm so proud of you guys. Just know that there will be times we run into roadblocks with this whole e-learning process, but we will figure it out. All right, guys, I'm gonna talk to your dad about this week, school week, and so sit right here. Okay, because he has to turn off his shirt. What's up? What's up? I have the first week go. The first week went well, but we don't know what the second week is gonna look like. We just gotta continue to communicate as we have been. Yeah, we've been doing pretty good. I mean, we haven't had a disagreement in years. Long time. I mean, it's been yeah. hot. I don't know if this is because. Our last court hearing. Yeah, but it used to not be good. Can you look at me and Miranda's eyes and tell us there's no drug problem? There isn't a drug problem. I think I know that there's a drug problem. Corey and his attorney have made some allegations against you, and the judge said if uh, this test comes back positive, he's going to consider changing custody. Get your 
together. Okay. And do what you're supposed to do, and there will be no issues. Okay. You're fake ass mom right now. Shut up! Stop running your mouth! That's all you do! I haven't ever really talked to you about it. Yeah. You didn't know after I had Addie that they put me on. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know. Colors. I didn't know all the details. All I know is that you have progressed, and it's been a totally different. Like before that, no way. It was scary. We wouldn't be here. It was scary. We wouldn't be yeah. here. Today. I look back at that moment, and I wish each of us, all of us, including your wife, could have communicated it a little differently, provided that safe place for me as an addict. We was very supportive, but our support turned to anger. We could have communicated it better. Yeah. Our communication now is where it should be. Yeah. I dreaded the drop-offs, you know, for years, but now it's pretty simple. It's yeah. usually just pull up, they get in, and then we talk about what we need to talk about and go. Oh so. Communication we have gone on, let's just keep it going. Yeah. I really appreciate yeah. being able to have that open dialogue and being able to communicate for them. Good. All right, let's get them out. Right. Finally. Finally. 30 minutes later. <laughs> Sean doesn't have a place to stay, so he's still living here even though we broke up. And last night we got into another big fight, so it's even more awkward. Here you go. You get two chocolates. Thank you. You're welcome. Our reservation is in like 15 minutes. Got ya. Let me go get Sean and tell him I'm leaving because I don't know where he went. We're leaving right now. So we get food, Chloe's just chilling, eating a snack in her bedroom. I want you to come in because I don't want to just leave her by herself. Is he gonna get out of his car and watch Chloe? Yeah. I'm parked out back, though. OK. So we're going to have to go to the back door. I was just making sure he's getting out of the damn car. <laughs> yeah, no, I just told him I was like, I can't leave the baby. Yeah. I'm just in there. OK. so weird at the house, I almost just don't want to be at the house. When I came over yesterday, as soon as I got there, he was already arguing with you. Like, are you just going to be up here all night? Are you staying up here with her? What are you doing? And I'm Why like, he's my friend. Like, Jesus Christ. He's getting more, like, controlling, overbearing yeah. by the day. It's smothering. I told him I wanted him to move out. And then you're telling my kid, like, oh, daddy has to leave. That daddy, made me so mad. Daddy has to go. And she's like, no, daddy, don't leave. And he's, and he's like, like, I have well, your to Your mom's leave. making me yeah, leave. And I'm your, like, don't. And your mom's tell her that. and I was like, why would you tell your three-year-old that? And then make her upset. I was like, what is she wrong started with crying. You? He just lost his mind and then made up a bunch of <laughs> your mom and your aunt and your grandma say you're a bad mom. And I was like, what? So I call all them, and then all of them are calling him, and he's pissed on me. And he was like, I never said that. You're putting he words did, in my mouth. He did, though. He's like, kid. you never take care of her. I'm the only one that takes and care of like, her. And he's like, you're always at work. And I was like, someone has to, how pay the bills. are we going to pay the bills? I have to go to work. And it's not like I work just like a little job. I have a career. Like, I own a business. Yeah. I have to be consistent. Once he moves out, I'm still going to be try to be the nice person and co-parent with him and let him have her a couple days a week. and. I want to make sure that we can co-parent and we can get along. But as soon as he starts getting crazy or disrespectful, the co-parenting will be cut off. So I'm like, I'm the mother of your child. You can either work with me and we're going to get along. Or if you're going to be crazy or be an ass, be vindictive and be mean, then you're not going to be able to be around your kid. Give me the kisses. Yay, mommy. Give mommy good sugars. No, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay!